fabulous clever uh, application to Audi a number of years ago. And this had, so this again needs to be thought out carefully. And really what you want to do is that part. Is it the right thing to do? The visionary people saw that we needed to bring the, the robots out among people so we could work together with them. And doing this, that made a paradigm shift in robotics. And doing that, you're also creating a new market, new possibilities. And when you're having a, a, a collaborative robot, you have a platform. And then you need tools to put on that platform. For example, the universal robot arm. And then you're seeing new companies developing these end of arm tools, so to speak. <laughs> Traditionally, this is all built into the system. So you have somebody sitting and designing their own grippers, having multiple cables going along the arm and so on. It takes a lot of time. Here, you connect this to the end of the arm of the robot. You connect two grippers, 10 minutes, you can have it up and running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robots goes everywhere now, from uh, F&B to hospital, surgical. You see it a lot in universities, you see it in banks, you see it in greenhouses. So it's not just traditional manufacturing. Of course, that's the majority, but you literally see it everywhere. And especially with cobots, because you know, they're safe to work around uh, people. The robot is the only robot in the world that can do both seeding and weeding. Uh, so basically what we start doing is setting up a field with the robot and the robot calculates a grid of where to put each single seed and then it will follow its path and seed everything. When we finish the seeding we will uh, me mechanically shift the uh, tools and then it will do the uh, mechanical weeding. The robot is uh, moving by GPS, so you drive the robot in the area, around the area where I want it to drive, and then it will contain itself within only that area. And uh, every time it detects some weed, it uh, gives a, it's a shot of uh, hot water, which basically gives the weed uh, like a thermal shock, so that it dies the same way as you use a, a weed burner today. <laughs> So it's a very boring task, right? And, uh, and uh, also, if uh, people like use pesticides today, it's not good for the environmental. Uh, uh, and uh, the weed burner is not good because it's using gas. 
We are using like hot water, so it's very, uh, very friendly. We see a huge drive to actually allow the last mile delivery options through autonomous robots. So it's the same principles that goes here. You also see a huge drive towards robotic lawnmowers and robotic vacuum cleaners to be more and more intelligent, to actually map the, the surrounding area to, to avoid obstacles and to avoid you know, the, the dog mishaps for the robotic uh, vacuum cleaners. So, so this is becoming more and more normal. But one of the advantage of street sweeping is that it could actually be done during the nighttime or during the time where there's not so much uh, pedestrians or, or public uh, uh, around it. We can see that the companies, they are seeking for investments and capital. And that is, uh, they're struggling more at the time than they have done before. And this is maybe not surprising because of the uncertain times that we are in right now. <laughs> 